Robert Pollard here. I want to talk to you about God's way of promotion and um, promoting people. And we've talked about this, we've touched on this when we spoke about David. And today I want to use Elisha as an example. We all know that Elijah chose Elisha as his servant. And Elisha served faithfully. And after serving faithfully, um, he, was, he received the mantle of Elijah and he did double the miracles. Before Elijah went up into uh, the heaven, taken up with the chariot, he said to Elisha that if you can see me ascending, if you can see me leave, uh, you can, I'm sure you'll be able to get that double portion that you've requested. What Elijah was saying there is that um, it's something that Jesus also says in Matthew 5 verse 8. He says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. So actually all Elijah was telling Elijah is if you've served me faithfully and your motives have been right and your heart is pure, you will be able to see the angels ascend, ach, descend, pick me up and go. You'll be able to see uh, into the spiritual realm. You'll be able to see the spiritual, not just the natural, because your heart is pure. God will allow that. And we know that that is exactly what happened. Then Elisha goes on to do a great amount of miracles and he's used mightily by God and he also picks himself a servant and this servant is called Gehazi. Now Gehazi, if we think about it, was um, Elisha's servant and he should have also been able to receive from Elisha the anointing, the mantle to carry on, to go on with the, the, the work that Elijah did. But Elisha, we see in, uh, you can read this in 2 Kings, uh, chapters 3, 4 and 5. Um, Gehazi was not able to see into the spiritual realm. We remember that they were surrounded and Elisha prayed and he said, Lord, open up his eyes. And then only did Gehazi see the angels around. It's such a small scripture, we use it so much. But do we realize that the reason he couldn't see these things was because his heart was defiled? How do I know that? If we go to chapter 4, we see the widow um, and her son passing away and she comes to the man of God. And this is Gehazi's moment of promotion. Elisha gives him his staff. He says to him, go to the dead boy and lay the staff on his forehead and he will be raised from the dead. This was the same as Elijah passing his mantle to Elisha. Elisha gives the staff to Gehazi. Gehazi goes, nothing happens. We're left wondering why. Elisha has to go himself, lay the staff on the boy. He doesn't just lay the staff on the boy. He goes and he lays on the boy, uh, hands on the boy's hands, mouth on the boy's mouth, raises the boy from the dead. Then we're left wondering why didn't it work? Why did Gehazi not have the ability to function in the power of God if Elisha gave him his staff and told him, that he would be able to do that. We see that in 2, uh, two um, Kings 4, 2 Kings chapter 4. We see the answer. We see when Naaman comes and um, Elisha heals him of leprosy, we see that Gehazi's motives were all wrong. And at the end of the chapter, he gets struck with leprosy. And Elisha says to him, now is not the time for man manservants and maidservants and, um, and robes and money and that kind of stuff. And then actually it all comes out into the open. The prophet reveals um, uh, Gehazi's heart. He says, you've been, your motives have been wrong. You've been in it for the money. You've been in it for the fame. You've been in it for all the wrong reasons. And therefore you're not getting uh, a double portion of what I have. Essentially, we might have read about Gehazi doing 64 miracles. You know, the Bible could have been full of this mighty man, Gehazi, if he had just served faithfully and if he had just kept his heart pure and um, not with the wrong motives and not with the love of money. I want to read Psalm 75 for you from the Passion Translation Bible. And verse 6 says, This I know, the favor that brings promotion and power doesn't come from anywhere on earth. For no one exalts a person but God, the true judge of all. He alone determines where favor rests. He anoints one for greatness and brings another down to his knees. 
I want to encourage you today. It's not about um, uh, money, fame, becoming famous or anything like that. God is searching our hearts and God is seeing if we have uh, hearts that are um, going to be faithful to Him, that are going to be pure in motive. And those are the ones He will look at and promote. God bless you.